This is the last of three videos that I've um, put together that show basic UI in Unity. The first one was um, connecting a button to script to do something. The second was using a, an input field to collect information from a user. And now I'm just going to demonstrate how you can output to a text field rather than the console. So if you need those other pieces of information, go back and check out those other videos. All right, so continuing on, um, if I want a text field here to um, display information instead of the console, then what I'd like to do is make a text field. So what I'm going to do is go over here back to the canvas, and I'm going to add in the UI text. Okay, so in here I'm going to move it where I'd like it to be. And it is important to make this the size that would hold the text I want. If, it, if you, for some reason your text isn't appearing, you may need to stretch it a little larger. So I'm going to go ahead and use the rec tool to make this a larger um, uh, thing. And once again, um, if editing your UI is a little weird, make sure that you have this 2D button clicked while you're editing the UI, and it just makes it so much easier. Otherwise, when I'm making new items, it comes up like this when I'm in 3D. And really, it's just overlaid on your screen, so jumping over to 2D gives you a nice preview of what, what it's going to be. I think that's, for me, that's the easiest way. So I have my text field, and um, just like the other ones, if I go over to the inspector, I can change what the initial text is. I could set it to like to empty if I'd like it to not show anything to begin with, which kind of makes sense to me. So I'm just gonna clear that out. Um, I can also change the um, font and size and everything here. So actually, um, let's say I'd like it to be larger and centered. I can change the alignment here. I can make, um, what's kind of cool is you can highlight it and just drag to make it larger. Um, so how about I make it larger? And in this case, if I type too much, it'll probably overlap. So let's make this a little bit larger still in case um, I'm typing, like the name is long. Okay. Now this black text might not look great on the background, so let me just hit play. Because I've got kind of a back, dark background, I think I might want to change it to a lighter color. So let me hit stop here. Um, same thing, the text. Let's um, change the color. Should I change it to yellow or white maybe? Let's change it to maybe just like a yellow just to kind of make it a little, a little different. Okay, so let's see what that'll look like. All right, we'll go with that. Nothing too crazy, but it'll stand out at least. So I'm going to get rid of the text to begin with, um, just for when I start. And then let's go to the um, script so that I can make um, some code so we can attach it. So I'm going to go over to my project, my C Sharp script. Now I already have the directive using UnityEngine.UI. If you're coming here and you don't have those other things and you're wanting to use text, make sure to add this. Um, otherwise, it won't recognize the, the text um, object. It may add it by itself, but um, I think it's a good idea to know what you need to add. So what we need to do, just like the username input field, I need to make a public text. Uh, I'm going to just call it output. Now, output is not magical. I could call this really anything, I'm just, but it is my output. So now I can use the word output to refer to the box on the screen. And just like username.text, which referred to the text in the input field, I will use output.text to output to it. So instead of debug log, which was to the console, what I can just do is change this to output.text equals, let me get rid of that parentheses, equals whatever I'd like it to say. Now, this is just like a variable in the sense that I put the variable or the object on the left and the value I want to set it to on the right, and it always goes that way. So I can't say hello username.txt equals output.txt. It doesn't work like that. So I have to put the thing I want to store it in on the left and the value I want it to set to on the right. So what's going to happen is it's going to take the text set the text of the output 
text object to, in this case, hello, and then whatever they typed in. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna save it. And for this to work, I need to connect it up again. So I'm gonna to go to my script object and notice now it also has a spot called output. So what I wanna do is drag the uh, field that I'd like to use for output here. So I'm gonna go here for text and drag it to this spot and that's how it's connected to the script. So now if I hit play, it should all operate in my um, game versus using the console at all. So I could enter my name, Susan, hello Susan, great, um, hello Jeff, I could enter anything. So that's how it's all working.